Hello friends, welcome to a new episode of Apple Coder. Today we will look at how to create self-sizing cells for the collection view. So as we have seen in the previous example, we are going to leverage the same example here. So we have sentences added to the data instead of just some small keywords. So we have sentences for this example to be better. Now let's run the app and see how this is displayed on screen. As you can see on the screen, the text is displayed on the screen, but it has some scroll bar on it and the width is fixed. Since in the code, we have specified the width to match that of the collection view width, but the height is specified to be a constant of 30. So that's why the text view is not fully visible on the screen at the time. You have to scroll it to make sure it is visible on screen. Now let's look at how the cell can automatically determine the size and how the text view can fill, can show automatically the entire contents without having a need to scroll. So for that, first we will go and remove this constant size that we have defined over here. Let's just delete this. And then in the flow layout, there is a property called estimated item size. So this is the size that the collection view will use to determine what is the size. So here for let's set this as automatic size. So the estimated size is going to be automatically determined by the collection view. There is no predefined size. And we have defined anchor constraints for the text view. So now let's also define constraints for the content view as well. So let's set the auto resizing mask into constraints to false. And let's also set the width of the content view. Since we want it to expand all the way to the screen width, let's specify this as a constant. And here we are going to set this to the main screen bounds. And let's also activate it. So after that, we also need to specify the width anchor for the text view. And let's set this to be equal to that of the content view width anchor. Now let's run the app and see how it looks like. Ta-da! Now you see the entire contents of the text visible on screen without having a need to scroll. So this explains how to create self-sizing cells. To recap, we set the estimated size in the flow layout of the collection view to be automatic size. And after that, we specified the width anchors for the text view as well as the content view. And for the content view, we set it to be the main screen width. And for the text view, we set it to be the content view with anchor. So now the collection view can automatically set the anchors and then it will display the entire contents of the text view. So this covers the session for today. See you all in a new video next time.